We saw the outcome of a rematch that was just unnecessary to take place. Marina Rodriguez, I feel, um, maybe felt slighted coming into this matchup. We were talking about what happened to Marina Rodriguez, right? And she put on a performance. She says she knew she needed to finish this fight. She brutalized Michelle Watterson Gomez, man. Like, this was one of those where some people felt uncomfortable watching. Even the hardest core, hardest MMA fans, right? Hardcore people felt a little uncomfortable. Like, Michelle Watterson is getting the brakes beat off of her, and they need to call this fight. Was there a point in this contest where you said, I might just have to turn this thing off, man, because the referee is not doing his job? What do you think? I don't know about having to turn it off, Derek, but there was a point right at the right around the end of the first where I was like, man, I'm surprised this judge isn't stopping this referee isn't stopping this fight. And then like uh, out of nowhere, my girl goes, yeah, I mean, she's Michelle Waters is still fighting back, but she's getting absolutely fucked up. And that's really what it was. It was a beating like we haven't seen in quite a long time. And uh, it felt it felt hard to watch. I never, it wasn't close to turning the TV off, Derek. I wanted to see how the outcome was, especially <laughs> because we know the the grit and the character that Michelle Watterson possesses. She's going to stay in there. She's going to be fighting. And you saw her, man, bloody as can be, still smiling, mm -hmm. ready to get after it. But that was a beating like she stole something. It was a it was a rough one, Derek. Were you were you in the same boat or were you you know, you think Michelle Watterson could have pulled this off? You know I love violence and I'm gonna watch that all day long, man. That does not bother me not one bit. But I do understand like the casual viewer's concern, right? I just when I you know if you've watched Michelle Watterson fight, she doesn't quit on herself. You know that, right? So you're okay with it because you're like, dude, she's a dog. Um, and she's ready to go in there and she's ready to get it smiling with the blood like you mentioned, right? I do think that nine, maybe eight out of ten referees would have called the fight off in the first round. I don't know why this referee felt they needed to give her such a long leash, especially because she was kind of – she was showing she was trying to advance positions and stop getting hit. But she wasn't hitting back. She was kind of shelling up. So I think that, yeah, they made Marina Rodriguez work way harder than she needed to for that TKO victory. Kind of concerned me for a bit because I was like, yo, she might have gassed herself out that first round, just raining down shots. But uh, let's talk about this really quickly, man. Had Michelle Watterson been able to keep her foot on the gas with those takedown attempts like she just opened it up with, I for a split second, I was like, yo, am I about to blow this pick? Like, is Watterson really about to upset, man? I said she could have been a live dog. Do you think that that would have been the path to victory? Or do you think that getting caught up in that clinch negated all takedown attempts? I mean, we, we saw the getting caught up in the clinch kind of negated all those takedown <laughs> attempts. And nonetheless, the head was bloody. You can't see anything. You're yeah. tired. Raining down elbows on your face. Yeah. Um, but for about a split second, especially at the start of the second round, when I saw her realizing that, that wrestling is a way to go, need to get to those hips, need to do that. That was a, a glimmer of hope for the, for the karate hottie fans. But still, even then, Derek, we saw how powerful and how vicious Marina Rodriguez was in there. There was even a point where she held her arms up and looked at the ref like, really, bro? Still? Okay. Bap, bap. Three more, and it was uh, it was a rough one. It was a rough one. Yeah, sure. this was one of the moments where you could tell there is a fighter in there that's like, I don't want to hurt you as bad as I have to right now. So, sorry, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. I'm here to do my job, and I'm here to let people know I'm going back on a title run. So, question to uh, close this one out. First off, Marina Rodriguez plus 375 TKO. What a steal for a prop right there in this matchup. Completely missed the mark on that one. Both of us. I mean, everyone probably across the board. But the real question here is, what does Marina Rodriguez need to do to reclaim her position into the formidable foe she once was that could get a title shot, man? Because if you look at the division right now, we're looking at the women's flyweight division. Marina Rodriguez, or we're looking at the strawweight division, excuse me. Marina Rodriguez is relegated down to number eight, man. You got Mackenzie Dern, Vina Janjadova, Jessica Andrade, Lemos. You got a bunch of characters in front of you, man. She called out Tatiana Suarez. I don't think she gets that fight personally, but what do you think? I don't think she gets that fight, Derek, but uh, just, just listen off the ones you were talking about, like... Virna Janjadova, maybe she needs to run that back, get it again. Like there, There's ways in order to kind of get to that spot, but I don't know. I think it's going to have to take another two finishes, another two performances like she had tonight or last night against Michelle Watterson to where she's vicious and bloody and, and really dominating her opponent because if, she, if Marina Rodriguez has any more close fights or non and not as uh decisive victories i don't think she's gonna get the same bump she had but she starts putting people out finish them then yes possibly do you agree you're seeing a different path i agree i agree and i also think that 
given that I'm a real big fan of Marina Rodriguez, she's just kind of let us down in some of the bigger spots that we've kind of, you know, backed her in. The way she got taken down by Michelle Watterson, she needs to be really careful calling out these wrestlers, dude. You know what I mean? Like, that takedown was too easy. She ended up getting back to her feet, which was good. We saw urgency this time around, but I think it's going to take a couple finishes and some more outstanding stuff, maybe an injury or something, to get right back where she was. Either way, a mauling, um, bludgeoning brutalization by Marina Rodriguez.